Jetpack Joyride. If you don't know about this, this is the undisputed best mobile game of all time. You start out the most action-packed intro you've ever seen. You grab a jetpack and you start doing your thing. The first jetpack that they give you is a machine gun just strapped to your back. What? They have the best, most epic soundtrack of any game that you've ever seen in your dang life. Well, I make games. I want to make this game. So I'm going to make it in the third dimension. <laughs> Mostly because I don't know how to make 2D games. Let's get into it. Man, I love the smell of a new Unity project in the morning. Started off by making a long to-do list of what I need to get done, as a responsible game developer should do. Then, I made a template Jetpack Joyride character. Forgot to record, so enjoy this reenactment. Hey, bro's ball. Got him falling. First things first, we had to work on the levitate mechanic, which was pretty straightforward. Uh, that's too little. <laughs> Come on. Oh, too much. Too much. Slow it. Oh, that's just right. That's just right. I decided to actually start modeling the real character already. So I threw a little subdivision on there. And I started sculpting his face. Gave him a nice Chadwick jawline. And then started on the hair. Look at that. Whoop. Johnny Bravo called. He wants his... Okay. Now it looks like he needs some face. Whoa. Sorry. I didn't mean to jump scare you there. Next, never modeled hair before. But I thought, hey, I could do this. I looked up some tutorials and then decided i'm just gonna wing it <laughs> there we go i think that's looking pretty sweet i like that I, i'd tip the barber next step was the physique pretty similar to the head trying to give him some pecs but he started to look a little bit like a lesbian so i just did this little thing right here I gave him some ripped sleeves and i had to be accurate to the source material and give him some absolute tanks bro so boom maybe that's too big i scrawnied him up a little bit okay i'm sorry I gave him a shirt, some legs, made him look a little bit more professional. And then it was time for my weekly refresher course on how to rig a character. I meticulously placed the bones, making sure that it would be accurate to the human physique. Then I went one by one and labeled each bone. Then Bludger crashed. Come on, man. <laughs> it crashed. It didn't save any of my progress. Dang it. Please subscribe. <laughs> Like, I remade like, all the bones and I made them bendy. Look at that. Now he's able to hold on to stuff, unlike your mom. Whoa, okay. But how is he gonna fly if he doesn't have anything to make him fly? So I made him a jetpack. I did some guns to his back. Stop trying to talk yourself out of making stuff, okay? Because watch this. It looks terrible, bro. Bro, this looks so bad, bro. Oh, that looks good. I added the ammo to the backpack and I actually rigged it up so I could animate it. I finished the jetpack and it was time to come back into Unity, baby. I added a coin in there. It's a little bit big, but we'll fix it later. And then I added some obstacles. I made a system where I could add any obstacle I wanted, pretty much. These are the ones that I started with. I made the death instead of just destroying your character. I made it fling your character all over the place. It took me a while to get the adjustments just right, but this is one of my favorite things about this game that I made. Out of the distance text to show how far you were going. Then it was finally time to import the model we made. I added handles to the jetpack. Pack. Almost forgot about that. But when I imported it, something weird happened, bro. What the heck? What is going on? For the people that have the same issue, it was just this random material sitting in here. But now he's in here nice and easy. Hey, There's also baby. some other issues with the normals being flipped, but easy enough. I gotta work it. I placed the dude there without any animations. And I was getting pretty excited for what I was gonna be able to do with this guy. <laughs> before I spend a lot of time on animations, I like to make some placeholders so I could get the functionality working before I go try hard. <laughs> then after I got it working, I got some real animations in there. And whoo, I really like it. With all this progress, I was excited to show my brother. <laughs> like, really bad. Ouch. But he's right. So it was time to make this game not look bad. I hopped into Blender and I started modeling the wall. It took me a few tries, but then I got something I was happy with. And then I made a few variations and brought them right back into Unity. What, the, what? This thing is huge. I'm resizing later, and it's looking pretty sweet. Right away, the lighting just looked terrible, dude. So I started adjusting that. I added some headlights. I gave the character an outline, which weirdly makes it look like the original game. I gave him a red edge light just to separate him from the background a little bit more. I think it makes him pop. It was time to fix these ugly placeholder obstacles, man. So I jumped into my forbidden enemy, the shader graph. Followed a tutorial and a little bit of messing around, and we got these beams, bro. This is looking awesome, okay? If I don't say so myself. I decided to get rid of that ugly coin model. I went in the blender and did my best. I think it looks pretty good. We brought it back into Unity. It's time to make the iconic formations that Jetpack Joyride has. I made a few different ones, including a skyscraper. 
skyscraper. For some reason, the skyscraper wouldn't work, so we don't have that anymore. I got the spawn in system working pretty well. I have to adjust the rates a little bit, but I decided that I wanted to work on the UI for whenever you die. I started trying to replicate the UI from the game the best that I could without adding every single button in the whole world. They got buttons for days. We ended up with this. I think it looks pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with what we got here. We got a lot of progress done on this game. I pretty much got what I wanted out of this project, but it was really fun to work on. If you guys want to see me keep expanding this project, give this video a like. If I get 3,000 likes on this video, I'll make a part two where I add the abilities, some lasers, and more jetpacks. That would be an epic video. So let me know if you want it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.